Good morning. Welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 85. Build day 85 is what we're on. <clears throat> um, the welders are here bright and early this morning. They're going to continue working the trusses the rest of the way. <clears throat> um, it, it's a complicated design and they've been working on it. I think they've got the plan together now and we're moving forward. So we're going to see lots more trusses uh, over the next several days and probably a week or two. Um, around the rest of the house, it's going to be uh, door frames and plaster coating and roof beams um, and the remaining columns to try to get everything prepped so that when the uh, guys get here with the roof beams, oh sorry, with the trusses, that the roof beams are ready to support them. Uh, so that's what they're working their way around from this side, working their way around the, the house. Um, so we'll be watching as they do these uh, different tasks throughout the day. Um, Y'all come along and watch. Uh, let's get started. All right, starting out in the guest bedroom side of the house. Doing a little cleanup before you get started this morning. They're going to start filling in some of the floors for the um, walk-in closet and Jack and Jill bath over on this side. They are starting to put in door frames as well and inside the Jack and Jill Mr. Tuck, our electrician, is again working on conduit uh, for switches. So they're roughing that into the, chipping that into the end of the wall and we'll connect all those at a later point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, coming out down down the hallway. Still continuing to work the door frames. They will continue to work these the rest of the way around. <clears throat> then back over onto the master side of the house. <clears throat> the welders are just arriving on site and already starting to get into work um, with the, the trusses where they need to be, where they need to be cut. Doing the, doing the work to make it look like what's on the plan. Looking good, moving forward. All right, let's go look and see what everybody else is doing out on the outside. Mr. Ben is getting set up to start doing plaster coat on this side of the master bedroom. <clears throat> and up on top, <clears throat> they are removing the forms from the uh, roof beams and columns that they poured yesterday afternoon. <clears throat> so this section of the garage is just about finished. Um, Somebody else asked earlier, a couple of the uh, subscribers asked, when are they gonna put the bars across here? Not just yet, it's still coming. Um, they're gonna be two large beams that are going to look like um, the beams that we did here for the cantilevers. Um, it's gonna be about that, it's gonna be about that high. Um, <clears throat> so it, it's double the, the height of our normal, um, our normal roof beam. Um, and they're going to do two of those, so it's going to be pretty substantially thick. Um, so, like you see the beam here, imagine two of those going here. It's got a lot of weight to support over that large, um, that large span. So they're going to double that up and put that in there eventually. They're just not there yet. I'll show you that when it happens. Carpenter having to make some adjustments. The um, lintel beams that were done around the inside or the, the support beam um, where they show the top of the door frame. Um, when it got over here on this side above the closet and the entrance into the um, Jack and Jill, the door frame is a little too short. So they're having to chip it out to make sure that it, it gets to the height that it needs to be uh, from the finished floor. Um, also, <clears throat> on this door for the uh, 
this door here for the closet they had to move the door this way just a little bit to the, to the right where he's at uh, to make sure that we had enough room right here for the uh, shelf and cabinetry on the inside uh, place to hang the clothes you know um, so it's gonna be a walk-in closet but it's only gonna have the shelf and hanging clothes on one side we'll work around and figure something out for the other side um, so they're gonna continue working this in the bedroom number two and I'm gonna look around and see what everybody else is doing all right we haven't been up here in a couple days We're up in the uh, attic in the media room wanted to come up here because I can actually see a couple different work locations from one spot um, so up here we are overlooking the master suite and they're starting to get the trusses all in the right locations so they're still continuing these what they're working to try to get to uh, first is the 45 slope that comes off of this hip joint right here and it'll come down over the top of the the top here of this back wall so that's what they're working on all of today um, underneath me the guys are working on plaster coating this um, wall here on the side of the uh, master bedroom this is um, actually on the this is actually on the porch back porch side of the master bedroom <clears throat> so they're working on that today and over here on this side of the house Good morning <laughs> um, hey Gary this is for you you were asking when they were gonna incorporate this section of the the beam into the rest of the roof beams and uh, the top grade here so they're starting finally to to make this connection they will make these connections over the breakfast nook and the back porch entrance and they'll start forming their way coming this way <clears throat> so they've still got uh, two more um, roof beams that they're putting into place above the maids um, restroom and utility room and those should be poured this afternoon then once they're ready they will continue and come around this way i was able to hire a gardener and i think he works pretty good I wonder how much is this charge for um, hourly rate. <laughs> I guess he's done. <laughs> no. If you want your neighborhood to be clean, sometimes you have to be willing to do other people's yard work. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a quick walk around this afternoon, shortly following lunch. Um, as you can see through the uh, maid's room here, they are mixing uh, mortar to be used for the plaster coat. One bag mixer, a little at a time. They'll pour it out on this side and then, and then they, they ferry it back and forth, um, bucket at a time, wherever it's needed. Um, speaking of plaster coating, we've got a couple guys getting set up here on the back side of the maid suite. Uh, this area, <laughs> uh, they're gonna continue doing the plaster coating on the top here, now that they've poured the uh, roof beams and columns. They're getting the uh, scaffolding all set up. Over here on this side, 
uh, Mr. Wilson and Mr. Jericho are continuing to do forms for the columns and ridge beams. Oh, ridge beams, sorry. Uh, columns and roof beams um, and to include the new ones that just got put in this, this morning. Um, the new roof beam here above the breakfast nook. Okay, so that's what these guys are working on. Over here on the north wall of the master ba oh, master bedroom, um, they are finishing up on the uh, plaster coating. So they're working on that this afternoon. Back up here on top. I'll show you this on the uh, drone footage. It'll look a lot better. Um, this side of the uh, master's suite is really coming along as far as the roof goes. This is going to look good. Um, I'll show you on the drone. It, it'll look a lot better. Um, but it does look almost exactly like the plan. So plans coming together. Let's go walk around the other side of the building. Okay, they finished this piece with the uh, plaster coat this morning as well. Hard to see in the shadows. But yeah, it's good to go from top to bottom. All right, here on the front side of the house, Mr. Jojo is getting ready to set up um, and start doing the plaster coating on the bay window piece. He completed this section here earlier this, this morning. So he'll get set up, get this ready to go, and start doing the rough uh, plop plop of the um, plaster coating all the way around. All right, let's go take a look inside the house for a moment. All right, let's go ahead and go into the house. One of the subscribers was asking about um, the view from the front, whether we're taking advantage of um, the view of Mount Orion that we love so much. Once the posts are finished here in the front porch, we'll be, still be able to see through from the dining room. This is in the dining room, and we'll still have this whole view here of Mount Orion. Okay, then we come around into bedroom number three. When we have guests that come into the house, they too will have an awesome view of Mount Orion. And most likely, the way we're going to lay out the, the, floor, uh, the furniture in here, their headboard's gonna be over here. So if they pull the, the, the window back, pull the curtains back, they're gonna have a great view, especially first thing in the morning, sun coming up over the top of Mount Orion, right into the, into the bedroom. Even in the afternoon, as the sun starts to set behind us, they'll get the view of all the, the sun just really lighting up Mount Orion and you see all the, the clouds go over. It's gonna look awesome. Coming back out of the house, when we exit out of the door onto the front porch, we can stand here at the end or put a, even, we've got a large enough area here to be able to put a small table and chairs right here at the entrance because we're not going to go straight out of the front porch area we're actually going to be exiting out the side so we'll exit out the side and then around to the front where the gate's going to be but here in front we can make it a nice seating area enjoy the the morning sun coming up the morning sunrise and a nice drink a little bit of coffee or since we don't drink coffee, it'll probably be tea or orange juice or whatever our breakfast is out here on the, on the front porch. This will be a beautiful view. Okay, so what else are people working on back here? Still doing uh, door frames, both in the walk-in closet for bedroom two, as well as the door frame for the Jack and Jill bath. Um, all the way through. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Anjo is getting these taken care of. And again, back here in bedroom three, 
these guys are working on Mr. Tox is still working on more uh, conduit for switches. All right, coming back in. Let's go take a look from underneath. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is such a lattice work of metal under here. From the underside, it is really hard to see where all the pieces are going and what it's all turning into. So I will show you this on the drone footage uh, here momentarily. All right, we're gonna take a look at the uh, roof framing plan. This is all the trusses that these guys are doing. Um, where they're starting on the back of the house is over here on the back of the master's bedroom. So the first one, they, the first line that they had put up was from this roof ridge right here down the hip joint number 11 and it went down to this corner. Now to get that back, they have come back through and put in additional pieces. They're now working on these sections here for the hip roof that's gonna do a 45 off of the back uh the back of the house this is so this is the the roof pitch that they're working on right now they've already got all of ht3 this section here all the way down this zigzag and they've also done this ht1 right here hip truss number one so we're getting there. Like I said, it is starting to, pardon me, it is starting to come together. Um, so they're gonna start working from here and work their way around to the front. All right, so we're gonna see how this goes over the next couple days. Uh, let me go take a drone footage of it and you can see it from above how it's going. what they're doing here this is the trusses that I was telling you guys about um, the 45 degree pitch that is going to come off of the back of the master suite come around to the side I'm gonna do a little view from above. Our guys are here above the dirty kitchen area, working forms and um, putting in new roof beams. So they've been working on that. Our welders, you can see way over here, are joining uh, trusses, some of the longer trusses that they'll need for their longer spans. And the engineers here to 
review um, the work that's being done with the truss work. So we're working on these. So right now he's he's going over with the uh, he's going over with the welding foreman. Um, all of the work that has been done on the trusses up to this point. All right, let's go take a peek inside bedroom number two. Mr. Anjo is still working door frames. So he's got the roughed in for the walk-in closet and he is working on filling in the, the, the empty space for the Jack and Jill bath door. All right, let's go walk around the front and see where everybody else is at. Up here in the front, Mr. Jojo and Jerome are still working forms for the plaster coat. So they're gonna get it all formed up first before they start uh, putting on the actual plaster coat. All right, I think that's where most everybody's at in the front. Yes, ah, doing a little site cleanup. Okay, let's go look around the back right, of the house. Coming on from the back. Mr. Totoy is doing, and Mr. Ben are continuing with the plaster coat of the top half. They've got the first rough coat on. Now they're gonna go back and add more. Back to the welders on the south side of the house. They're getting ready to hoist up one of the uh, girders, or one of the <laughs> girders. One of the trusses that they uh, extended and put together um, and it's going to go from this corner right here by the sh uh, master shower back up to this point right there at the top so that's where those two are going to join mr gabby's going to give them a hand and they're going to put that up I'll see if I can stand here long enough to get it on, on video. Getting close to the end of the day, not quite yabba dabba do time yet, but the guys are finishing up doing a little bit of uh, concrete on the top uh, before they get ready to go. So this is uh, roof beam and column for the back side of the garage and partially going over the um, dirty kitchen. You guys have been busy on the other side of the house. Um, you saw from the drone footage uh, the web trusses uh, that are going up and they're all starting to come together really nicely. Uh, we can really start to see the layout of how that roof line is going to look. Uh, so me personally, I'm excited to see it go uh, more so over the next couple of days. Um, with, any, with any good luck, uh, we should be able to be done with the master bedroom portion um, or the master suite portion uh, by end of week which means today's wednesday probably by S saturday saturday afternoon late saturday afternoon we should be able to be completed with that <clears throat> um, through the rest of the house still working on plaster coat uh, many locations um, working on getting the door frames in now uh, so that they can start plaster coating the inside walls uh, so that'll be the next step in the process. Um, that's about where we're at for today. Um, if you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Tex Pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified when I upload another video for your viewing pleasure. Um, until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.